this is how you can duplicate items in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Actually, this is a two-in-one video because using this method, you can also get unlimited rupees. So make sure that you check my gaming channel for more videos. The item we're going to duplicate are diamonds, which sell for 500 rupees each at the vendor station. The first step is to make sure that our boy Link has a weapon and a shield equipped on his person. So as you can see, I have the Hylian shield and a weapon on my back. Second of all, you're going to head over to your inventory menu and make sure that you select a bow. As always, before you try any glitch, make sure you head over to the cogwheel and save your game beforehand. Now that you have your bow equipped, make sure that you tap ZR in order to bring out your bow and then you're going to press up on your D-pad to select the diamonds. Once you do that, there's going to be a green animation which will let you know that the process has been done correctly. Once you see the green animation, you will be able to confirm that the diamond is at the end of your arrowhead. And now it's time to head over to the bow inventory. The most important part of this whole process is to go to the inventory menu and then come out before you start duplicating. So that's done. We go into the inventory menu, go to your bow and make sure you drop that first one. Now you're going to go ahead and equip that second bow and you're going to press the plus sign to go in and out of the inventory screen twice. So one, two. Once you see that bow on the previous screen, you're going to see that the diamond is still on the arrowhead. That's how you know that you're on the right track. Now, you're going to drop that second bow and equip a third one. Once you leave the inventory screen and you go press up on your D-pad, you should see another diamond in your inventory. It didn't work in this case, but I'll show you why. One thing that I noticed is that it can take a couple of tries to get going because you have to drop that first bow and the second one before the bows drop to the floor in game. So we're going to try this again and I'll show you that it works. As you can see, it didn't work the first time, but when I press up on my D-pad, I've duplicated the diamond multiple times. So let's start it from the jump. I have a shield and a weapon on my back. I'm going to tap ZR so Link can take out his bow. I go up on the D-pad, attach a diamond to the arrowhead, and go back into the inventory screen, go out, and then go back in once more. I'm going to drop that first bow, equip a second one, tap, tap. The arrowhead is still there. I'm going to drop that one and equip a third bow. If I drop out of the inventory screen and press up on the D-pad, you see I have one more diamond in my inventory. After that process is done, you can pretty much do this as many times as you want. So I'll show you, I'm equipping that first bow, ZR, adding a diamond, go in and out of the inventory screen, drop, equip, twice, drop, equip, twice, drop, equip, Blam! 11 diamonds. The speed of you equipping the bow does not matter, but I found that the bows being in the air at the same time is necessary for you to confirm that you're doing it well. And there you go. Duplicated items and infinite money. Subscribe for more guides.